What is up my shredheads? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're gonna be doing the first ride and review of the Hemiway Escape Pro. Before we get started on this video, if you guys do wanna support the channel, check out that link down below for Hemiway. Use code SHREDDY, get $50 off your order. If Hemiway isn't for you, check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing an overview, speed test, hill test, and terrain test. So let's get started on the overview. The Hemiway Escape Pro retails for $16.99. This electric bike has a 750 watt brushless gear motor. And right here hidden in the frame, we have a 48 volt, 17.5 amp hour Samsung LG lithium battery. They claim a range between 30 and 50 miles, but we'll test that out. The total payload capacity is 330 pounds and the recommended rider heights are between five foot one and six foot one. I'm five foot 11. And also hidden down here in the frame is a 48 volt, 22 amp controller. Then right up here, we have an LCD display with USB charging right up underneath in case you wanna charge your phone. The Escape Pro weighs 92 pounds with the battery. It has five levels of pedal assist with a cadence sensor. The Escape Pro is equipped with 20 by four Kenda fat tires and check these out, they're super knobby. So I think this bike will do pretty well on the beach. We're also equipped with a front headlight and a rear tail light and a Shimano seven speed gear shift system. We're also equipped with mechanical disc brakes with 180 millimeter rotors. And right up here guys, we have the Shimano thumb shifter and we have this nice half twist throttle, which I like the half twist and full twist better than the thumb throttles. Let me know what you like in the comments down below. We're also equipped with a front fork suspension with hydraulic lockout and preload adjustment. We also have dual rear suspension on the back. I cannot wait to see how this thing performs off road. And right down here guys, we do have 170 millimeter crank arms so this bike is definitely going to be pretty easy to pedal when the battery is powered off we have front and rear fenders with a nice heavy duty rear rack we also have alloy mag rims which are pretty cool and with this motor they claim 80 newton meters of torque the frame is made out of 6061 aluminum so this frame is a step through frame i think this frame would be pretty good for people that have a hard time lifting their legs or shorter people all right guys, now that that overview is done, let's get to the speed test. We're also gonna track our whole ride today to see how the battery acts. Long press here. There we go, we got some power. All right, here we go. Full throttle, mode five, top speed. They claim 25 miles an hour. And there goes the limiter just kicked in. The top speed on this bike is 23 miles an hour, full throttle only we will go through all the pedal assist levels too. So let's start on pedal assist one. I'm just gonna ghost pedal. And just so you guys know, I am almost six feet tall, I'm five foot 11. Pedaling this bike like this feels very uncomfortable. I don't know if you guys can see my knees reaching up super high. If they did have a longer saddle where you could sit back a little further, that'd be a little bit more comfortable. So it looks like 10 miles an hour is our top speed in mode one. Let's go into mode two. Let's see what our top speed. So this cadence sensor does take off pretty quickly. Just so you guys know, if you're used to a torque sensor where it gives you what you push into it, the cadence sensor kind of just goes full throttle on it. All right, looks like 14.2 is the highest we reached. All right, now pedal assist three, guys. 16.5 is our top speed for pedal assist three. Let's go to pedal assist four. We'll also lock out that front fork and see if I can push more speed when we get to five. So it looks like 18.5 is going to be our top speed in pedal assist four all right now pedal assist five we're going to do top speed ghost pedaling then we're going to lock it out and try to push it in gear seven but right now we're just going to ghost pedal oh my god i just had a freaking bug fly right in my ear dude pedal assist five top speed was 22.4 miles an hour we're going to lock out this front fork and then we're gonna go pedal assist five and just try to push it. Can we beat 22.4 miles an hour? Let's see guys. I'll try to wheelie this thing later too. Dude, 23 is the hardest I can push it guys. The saddle on this thing has been actually pretty comfortable. Next, we're gonna do some uh, beach riding, terrain testing and hill tests. We're going downhill. We gotta be able to do like 26, <laughs> 27, 28. I hit 29. <laughs> All right, we made it to the Roosevelt Inlet in Lewis. We're gonna see how this thing handles the beach. Since it's so packed, it's actually pretty easy to ride on this. Look, pedal assist five. Let's see what that feels like. So easy. Let's just use all throttle up here. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> it's actually getting me through this. 
Look how low the tide is. I know you guys are gonna get mad at me. This is where the Hemiway Escape Pro brought me. So if you get an e-bike and you live by the beach, you have to ride on the beach. It's literally like the most awesome feeling ever, guys. Right now I'm on pedal assist five, gear seven. <laughs> These knobby tires definitely work pretty well on this sand, guys. A total beach cruiser. Nice step through design, easy to get on and off. I'll definitely spray the bike down and wash it with a little bit of soapy water and a bucket. Damn, this thing is trekking through this stuff. I'm full throttling this whole time, guys. And don't forget, I am tracking this ride. We'll see what our voltage is by the end of it. I'm gonna hook it up to the Grin Technologies charger and that'll tell us a voltage. <laughs> he tried to eat me. All right, after this beach ride where I've just put a beating on this thing, we're gonna do some hill climbing and some grass riding and all that fun stuff. And I need to get some food. I'm so hungry, so we're gonna get food at some point. Let's see if it has a walking mode. Normally, if you hold the down button, it, it starts walking. We're gonna do a little terrain testing, but first, I wanna hit some stairs. This is a pretty good test for this e-bike, guys. I made it down pretty easy. Throttle only, let's see. <laughs> All right, let's test it just sitting down on my butt. Oh my God, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing that. Always check your nuts, guys. So we're gonna start from a stop, full throttle up it. I feel like it's not gonna get too, too far. And that's it, that's all we got. <laughs> Get a little more uh, speed and let's see if it gets us up it. All right, here we go. Same exact path. Oh, <laughs> no. Let's see if it clonks out. No, it actually kind of wants to keep holding you. It ain't a shreddy video unless we're riding through the grass. We gotta ride through the grass. <laughs> All right, let's sit down, feel that rear suspension. Oh, definitely stiff. <laughs> We're gonna do a full speed brake check. Remember, 180 millimeter rotors with mechanical disc brakes. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at this slide on that. 14 feet from 22 mile an hour. Stop right there, guys. <laughs> All right, Osprey, please don't attack me. I am your friend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Suspension's working out pretty well back here. I love this place, guys. Nat Geo rules out here. <laughs> I'm good, bird. I'm good. I'm your friend. All right, guys. Just want to tell you about the seating position on this bike so far. It's actually really comfortable with the bars being directly in front of you. So it's a very upright seating position. We're gonna see if we can climb some dunes. We're gonna try to make it up this little hill, full throttle, just like a little pedal to get a little speed and then throttle. <laughs> Almost. That was actually pretty fun going up that thing. Let me try one more time and see how much farther we can get. Here we go. Full speed ahead, Captain. Here we go. Oh, yes. <laughs> Guys, I am starving. We're gonna meet up with Didi. We're gonna head up to this place called Station on Kings. They have amazing food over there, guys. Here we are at Station on Kings. If you guys are ever in the Lewis Beach area, definitely check this place out. They have amazing food and a really cool little garden center. So check this out guys, this is lobster avocado toast. I cannot wait to try this out. So it's got fresh jalapenos, little cherry tomatoes. What else, Dee Dee? What's in there? Lobster. That's really good. Destroyed. Hi, how's the ice cream? It's good? It's really good. Do you have like all types of flavors, like a lot of different flavors? Yes. And what kind of toppings? You guys have like hot fudge so, and stuff like that? Yeah, hot fudge, hot caramel. There's like, we make meringues and there's like dollies. Oh my god. Cool, I'm excited to try that out, guys. Oh, that's cool. Hell yeah. I want a Rivian so freaking bad, and I've never seen the black one before. That looks awesome. We can't close out terrain testing without hitting some train tracks. 
Oh, the suspension is definitely working out. <laughs> All right, let's do a quick little range check. We've ridden 15 miles exactly, and we are down two battery bars, guys. Guys, comment down below. Do you guys think I'm going to kill my battery on this review, or do you think I'm going to make it home? I'm full throttling all the way back home, guys. 17.5 miles travel, and we're still down to two battery bars. I cannot wait to see what voltage is left on this battery. Yes, we're hitting the jump at full speed. Oh, look, down one battery bar now, 17.7 miles traveled. <laughs> Whoa, oh my goodness. We got some pretty good air on that one, guys. <laughs> that was awesome. An 18 mile review today. Almost killed it down to one battery bar. Look at that, 18 miles exactly on both. Guys, let me know what you think about the Hemiway Escape Pro in the comments down below. I thought the bike performed awesome with everything I threw at it. I definitely had a blast riding it through the sand and on the beach. So if you guys do want to support the channel, check out that link down below for the Hemiway Escape Pro. Use code SHREDDY, get $50 off your order. If Hemiway isn't for you, check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. And as always, if you guys enjoyed that content, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, and ringing that notification to be notified when I'm making videos. And are you guys ready for the moment of silence for the subscribe button? In three, two, one, hit subscribe, heads down. All right guys, I'll see you in the next ride. So we did a total of 19 miles. So we ended up with 46.3 volts left on the battery.